Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more My Hero Academia. This is season three, episode 14, and I think we're about due for a new opening. I get a feeling this is the episode that's gonna happen, but yeah, uh, curious to see if we'll have more dorm shenanigans and what the next arc will be for this story. But yeah, if you guys wanna watch the full reaction or you wanna catch episodes a week early, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, let's get started. So YouTube has been blocking my reactions to My Hero Academia, so the rest of this video is just gonna be the commentary, but you can still see the reaction in the link in the description below. We're gonna do this for the rest of season three. I'll tinker around with season four when I get to it to see if I can get around the copyright issue, but uh, not too optimistic about that. But again, you can check it out still, and let's get on to the commentary. What a fun, fun episode. There's more settling into the dorms, there's training for ultimate moves, even had a new opening, and I think the visuals are very good, a lot of very cute moments. Uh, Uraraka's face, uh, closing her eyes. And the song itself, I think I just need some time to let it grow on me. I know I didn't immediately like some of the other songs when I heard them for the first time, but then wound up really liking them after a while, so... Yeah, I really like the ending too with Hagakure just sitting in front of everybody, but you could obviously see everybody behind her. Um, does she sit at the front of class too? Because I feel like that would be a good opportunity to take advantage of her quirk as well. And we also have new credits. I was following along with the subtitles and thinking how nice the, the lyrics are. And then it ended with Long Hope Philia, and I was so confused. Uh, apparently it's the name of the song. That still doesn't help me understand what it means, but... Long hope Philia, sure, whatever. <laughs> uh, we've made fun of Tenya and his eccentricities on the show before, but the way he brushes his teeth, <laughs> it's hilarious. It's actually super funny that nobody really makes fun of his movements on the show either. Um, there was one time where he was like dancing and Froppy said something along the lines of, like, those are some interesting moves, Tenya. Uh, but that's it. Like, they should be... I'm, I'm surprised people don't make fun of him more on the show. Um, but yeah, uh, Tenya's one of my favorites. The way he wells up with pride whenever he's praised. We've seen it before when Yayu Rose broke down the battle training in Season 1. And this time, with realizing his Recipro is already an ultimate move, he was just, like, so happy. Um, <laughs> annoying, though, that Mineta, of all people, already has an ultimate move, too. Grape Rush. Uh, if the mangaka decides to make Mineta somehow the number two hero eventually behind Deku, I'm going to be so, so pissed. Um, but yeah, we've already seen a whole bunch of new ultimate moves this episode. Deku's is essentially just upgrading his fighting style to include kicking, but I assume that, I mean, that counts. It's a huge, huge power-up. And yeah, different kinds of smashes are technically ultimate moves since, like, All Might was using them all the time. But, um... I think depending on your base power, like even your regular moves can be ultimate moves. Like All Might in his prime, punching you in the face with like a normal punch is going to do way more damage than any ultimate move that most heroes are capable of. Uh, Bakugo already had Howitzer Impact and Stun Grenade, but comes up with AP Shot, freaking Armor Piercing, Explosions. That's really, really good, though. It feels like it would be overkill. It would be fatal if used in battle against somebody who didn't have... A sort of reinforcement quirk. Um, I'm guessing it will do some damage to Kirishima even with him uh, hardening up, but I don't know. Because it actually it essentially works like a bullet, so it feels like it's situational. You can't use it against everybody, but uh, it can be very useful in certain situations. Uh, we had Mina Ashido kamehameha some acid from her hands. Ectoplasm immediately told her to like turn her hands into a nozzle, which makes it much go, go much further, which... I feel like it's not that much of an upgrade. Like she can already throw her acid around, but I suppose a steady stream can help melt stuff. So it may be good for clearing debris or something, but for battle, I don't know. Um, I mean, we're just starting to figure things out though. It's just day one. So we'll see what kind of improvements we can have with a lot of these people going forward. And I would argue that Todoroki's move in the sports festival counts as an ultimate move. That was explosive. Uh, Yaoyorozu makes two things at once, which is, honestly could be very super like super useful and it doesn't look like it strains her abilities too much her physical abilities too much the hardest thing might be that your brain has to think fast enough to figure out what to create and how to create it at any given moment and 
I mean, everything that goes into it makes it very Yaoyorozu because she's entirely intelligent and she has she's her ability to assess uh, situations is very very strong. So yeah, this this is a good um, fit for her. Uh, with Tokoyami, my man with the abyssal black body, that is really really cool. Uh, a little hard to say, like Midnight said, but abyssal black body is very cool. Uh, Froppy was starting to do this. I think it was a camouflage thing. It seemed like she was changing color. She wasn't like invisible, but um, yeah, changing color a little bit. And I feel like a lot of these ultimate moves are just going to be like slightly powered up versions of normal moves. Like with Ojiro, I was kind of joking, but like, what is his ultimate move? I was like, just tail harder, do tail harder. Like, what else can you do, right? Uh, and Hagakure, it's not like she can become more invisible. And like, since she can't turn her invisibility invisibility on and off, it's not like she can change the way she refracts light, right? And then we have Kirishima. Is he just going to get super hard? But then he wouldn't be able to last as long, right? And that's super hard. I can't talk about his quirk without it sounding, like, without it being laced with innuendo. But you guys know what I mean. Uh, I've definitely been saying that uh, Denki Kaminari needs some way to direct his lightning, though. If he could figure out how to do that, that would be a huge, huge power-up and a great ultimate move. But... I don't know. I don't know how he's going to figure that out. And I don't know, with Hantasero, like ultimate move, double-sided tape, that would be super funny. <laughs> That'd be so so stupid, but super funny too. Uh, I don't know what kind of uses it would be. It would act like, I guess, Mineta's balls. There's n Some of these characters is very, very hard to talk about their quirks without sounding very perverted. But anyway, super fun episode otherwise too. Uh, we're talking about costume upgrades. Mei freaking Hatsume is a hoot. She's such a fun character. Uh, Tenya being like, I'm the one you tricked into doing a commercial for your babies. Never heard of ya. And, uh, oh, the boobs moment. <laughs> the boobs moment. Deku is so freaked out. And so is Uraraka. She's scandalized. I, I kind of had something s similar, not really, happen to me when I was around his age. Uh, there was a very attractive girl one year above me in middle school slash high school who, um, I don't know, we were standing by the handball courts and like talking in a group and I don't know, somehow one of her boobs was like, was like pressed against my arm and somehow my dumb brain was like, oh, it's probably an accident despite the fact that it lasted for like more than a full minute and like looking back, I'm like, there's, she would notice right away. So it's not an accident, like if she, if it was an accident, she would have noticed right away and moved away, but like she didn't. So like, uh, the level of freak out was not on the level of Deku's at all. Um... <laughs> I just feel very dumb not realizing what that meant in that moment. But uh, yeah, Mei Hatsume uh, on top of Deku. <laughs> Deku was so scared. Uh, or just, I don't know, freaked out. Uh, she's very enthusiastic about her work, though. Uh, I'm curious what kind of upgrades she'll have for our heroes down the line. Here, she's kind of experimenting with a whole different time, a uh, whole bunch of different things, and none of it is really that useful in helping out uh, our heroes for now. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, it seems like she had, Deku had metal shoes by the, by the end. I'm not sure if she did that or if uh, Power Loader did that, but definitely helpful for him to with his new style. And I don't know, she set up something for Uraraka to help with her balance issues, and it wound up exploding. Uh, and the thing she had for Deku before was like twisting him into a pretzel. Tenya got launched into the ceiling. So Mei Hatsume is just super funny. I, I want to see what she comes up with. Uh, for Bakugo and how he reacts to it because nobody gets the better of him and it would be fun to see uh, that happen once in a while. Um, All Might came and taught a little trying different approaches to teaching thanks to that teaching for dummies book he has in his back pocket and I like that he brought it with him to class. Uh, Aizawa with his really good vision spots it and is kind of dumbfounded. It's, it's a great great moment. Uh, super fun episode though. I'm gonna give this an 8.5 and yeah, I'm really. I'm, I'm hoping we get to see more of the ultimate moves. I don't think we went over everybody. Uh, we definitely didn't. Uh, we don't know anything about Coda and some others for sure. So looking forward to hopefully seeing some more. Uh, we didn't see anything from Jiro either, I don't think. But yeah. All right. Looking forward to seeing what's in store for the next uh, episode. If you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like. Really helps with the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.